Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66-Day Challenge 3.0. Uh, we have been working on opportunities here for the last several days, and we're going to go back into opportunities and cover today a really cool ability within DocuSign to split PDF formats and combine PDF documents, excuse me, not formats, but documents. So let's dive into our test uh, opportunity here. Here's the opportunity card that we have been working on previously. We're gonna touch on documents and we're gonna go into the transaction, which has already been linked previously to DocuSign. Typically it's gonna make you sign in to DocuSign or sign out. And yet here is the uh, DocuSign room that we had previously created with documents loaded into it. So let's say we put together all of these documents and we want to send it off. Um, well, actually I take it back. Let's think about a use case where uh, a lot of times you get an offer in, right? And you get it from the agent and it's one document with 26 pages in it, for example. And everything looks good except for one piece, right? So you send back and you know an invitation to resubmit or an email or however you're doing your counter offer and you get that one corrected document back. So let's figure out how we would take out one page, replace it with another page and recombine. So we want to split, we want to remove a document, we want to add a document, and then we want to recombine that document into one. So I'm just going to use the uh, one to four family residential contract here as an example. I'm going to click on this dot in the top left hand corner, right? And uh, the first thing that I want to do is actually right click the document. And you see when I right click it, I have an opportunity to choose split. So when I click on split, it pulls out all of the pages. So you can see the nine pages. Sometimes I negotiate terms in a contract and I get back just that one page that has been either initialed or signed or addressed or whatever it may be. So let's say everything looked good on all of the pages, except maybe there was something in special provisions that we didn't like, we wanted removed. Okay, so I get back page five corrected, but I still have the original contract and I want to put it all back together. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to say, here's the offer docs original, and that's going to be one through four, comma, six through 10. Okay. So actually I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do one through four as one document, and then I'm going to add a document. And I'm going to call that, let's see, pages one through four, or offer docs, and let's do original, or offer docs, original, and this is going to be six through ten. Okay, so first I have to split this ten page document up into two separate documents that include page one through four and pages one, or six through ten, excuse me. Okay, so now I'm going to click on save. Uh, is not a valid, oh, sorry, I didn't put in the actual page range here, page range. So you can see one through four, six through 10. Let me click on save. And now when we go back into the envelope, you'll see we have all of the original documents and yet now we have a PDF of one through four and a PDF of six through 10. Now let's just say that the agent emailed over the corrected page five, okay? We're just gonna pretend like this, uh, actually, let me just upload it. So I've gotten it back. I need to upload a document from my computer. Let's just say it's a single page five document. Let me just pull something out of a, uh, a previous listing. And let's just say, okay, here's an example of an amendment, but let's just say this was the corrected page five. All right, so I would pull that in. Well, now I've got pages one through four, six through 10. And then I've got, this is our test page five, if you will. So I went through, I split the one to four into two pieces. I've now gotten the updated page five. Well, now I need to combine these back into one document so it doesn't look weird when I send it off to my client for signatures. So now I can combine these documents. First I split them, now I'm going to combine them. So I'm gonna click on the three documents that I want to combine. And then I'm gonna come up here and click on the combine button. It's at the very top here in our toolbar. So when I do that, it's going to say, hey, you have the ability to reorder these documents if you'd like. Well, I certainly don't wanna send my client page five and then one through four and then six through 10. 
So I can actually click on this file, drag it down, and so now I have one through four. I have the corrected page five, and then I have six through 10. Now I can call this offer docs on one, two, three Main Street. And this is going to create a new file that now has all 10 pages, right? And yet they're all in order and they are correct. So here's offer docs on 123 Main Street. If we click on it, we can see one, two, three, and four were the original. Here's our sample page five that got corrected. And then we have six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right, so it's a great way to be able to, if you get documents in and you need to change one, or sometimes, you know, you get a document that you need to split up. It's an executed contract, and yet it's all one contract. And we know we can't upload one massive contract into our documents tab and opportunities. So we would want to have to come in here. And let's just say that this, again, using the same example, was our massive contract with all of our addenda and everything else. We would right click, we would split, and then we would go through and just start adding the documents. So here's the family one to four, for example, and we would put a page range in. Here's our third party financing, and we would put what page that one was. Uh, here is our non-realty items addendum. We would put page five, right? And so you're basically going through and titling each one of these documents and then let's see, the last one would be, uh, maybe it's the MUD district form. And that's page six. Okay, so I've now split this 10 page document up into four separate documents, each one having its own title. When I do that, I can click on save. And my room documents updates. And now you can see, right, I have all those documents that I just created. So here's the family one to four. Here's the mud district form. Here's the non-realty. Here's the third party financing. The reason this is important is now when I go back into command and I need to start adding things in, right? Here's my under contract. I wanna find the uh, fully executed contract. So here it is. I would click on add a file. I would click on DocuSign. And now I can see all of the documents that are in my room. So I would just click on family one to four and assign that one there. And then I can go next. Okay, so I need the um, third party financing. So I would just scroll down until I found that document. And let's just keep going down. I think it's here towards the bottom. Third party financing, I would click on DocuSign. I'm gonna go down until I find that document. There's third party financing. I click on assign. And so you can see this is a great way to really easily manage the documents that you need to put in your placeholders by splitting and sometimes having to combine documents within DocuSign via KW command. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic Friday and look forward to an amazing weekend. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much for your time.